Hey, it's Lon Seibin, and I am very excited about all the upcoming developments in virtual reality technology that we're probably going to see in the next year. Uh, there's a company called Oculus Rift that many of you have probably heard about, which has developed an amazing VR headset. Uh, so amazing that Facebook, even before the product was released, uh, bought that company for over a billion dollars. It's pretty remarkable to see that happen so quickly. So Google, not to be outdone, figured they need to come up with some VR solutions of their own. And uh, the, instead of inventing a whole bunch of technology, they came out <laughs> with this cardboard box concept where you slide an Android smartphone inside and turn it into a VR headset with head tracking. And I got to say, it actually works. Now, I didn't get the Google uh, box because I wasn't at Google I.O., but I found a company called Dodo Case that's selling these uh, for about probably about 30 bucks. This is a very expensive piece of cardboard. It arrives flat. Uh, you got to put it together, but I jumped on it the minute I heard about it because I figured it was something that you'd all find interesting. So I think it's going to be worth the $30 investment. And having played with it tonight, uh, it's very convincing. It's actually much better than you think it might be. So let's take a quick look at what this looks like, and then I'll show you how it works uh, using my MirrorCast device. So uh, basically, you've got two plastic lenses here. You secure them inside with some uh, little stickers that they give you. Uh, you have to fold everything together. Um, there's a nose bridge here that basically separates the, the screen into two parts. And the apps that run uh, that support this Google Cardboard concept will do like a split screen. So each eye sees something different. So you get the 3D effects. You get everything you'd expect uh, out of a VR headset in here. And it's really, actually, it's really, really cool. Uh, there is a uh, near field communication chip that you can stick in here that'll boot their app automatically when you slide your phone in. Uh, and then on the side, there's a little magnet. I don't know if you can see it in here. There it is. Uh, and it kind of uh, works with this little bolt here. And uh, when you move this, it basically gives the phone a signal that you're trying to click on something. And I'll show you how all this works when we boot their app up. So basically what you do uh, is you take your smartphone out. And we're going to link this up via Miracast in a second here so you can see how this, uh, how this works when it's in there. Um, we're going to boot up the Google Cardboard app first. There's a bunch of apps that have shown up in the Google App Store or the Google Play Store. Uh, that use this uh, little cardboard thing, which has been pretty cool. There's a flight simulator, a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm going to show you a couple of apps that I found interesting. And then we'll uh, take some, I'd love to get your comments actually after you watch this video, because there's probably stuff that I haven't seen in the store that I need to check out. All right, we've got the Google Cardboard app loaded. And as you can see, there are two different images. And that's because it's separating uh, the view for each eye when I have the cardboard lifted up to my head. I'm going to put up my split screen here. Now, if I uh, move my head around, as you can see, I'm able to kind of select different things that I want to load up. So I'm going to select YouTube real quick here. And this app is beta, so it might crash. Um, but here we go. We've got YouTube loaded. It's got this big screen. It looks like, looks like a movie screen that I'm looking at right now. So it doesn't maybe look like that to you uh, watching it at home. But uh, then you can kind of browse around and see what other uh, apps are available. One thing that I found is that it's a little hard to get this calibrated uh, into the right spot. So um, you know, it tends to be drifting a little bit. I'm not sure if maybe this phone is a little defective or something. But it's a little hard to keep things uh, in the right spot. But as you can see, you can like, select the video here. It'll kind of center the screen again. And then we can kind of watch this big screen YouTube experience. And it, it feels, it really gives you a feeling like you're in a movie theater. It's really kind of neat. By the way, you might see a little, um, a little artifacting on the screen. That's my mirror casting just kind of getting a little glitchy. So uh, ignore that. It's actually looking very, very sharp in the screen here. So I'm going to pop up now uh, another app that they have on here. And what you do if you want to change the apps is you just turn the whole thing sideways. Um, another one that was really amazing to me was this one called uh, tour guide here. And what they do is they take you on a little tour of, of I think, the Louvre. And uh, you get this, you know, if you're standing up while you use this, it is so convincing. You get kind of freaked out because you don't see your feet there. And uh, the, the angle that they shot these photos at uh, was, was taller than I was. I was like really kind of disjointed. So if you get motion sickness, this is probably not something you want to do uh, out in public. But uh, basically, you just hit the uh, the little uh, thing on the side here, the magnet, and you can take a tour inside. There's a tour guide that actually speaks to you and has you look at different things as you go. Um, but this is just amazing. It was shot with the Google Streetcar technology. And as you look around, you can just really get a feeling that you're there. And like I said, if you're standing up, it's, it just feels all the more convincing. But uh, just amazing that we've got a cardboard box here uh, with a phone slit inside of it. And we're getting uh, this level of detail. Uh, there is one more thing I want to check out. Uh, there's a flight simulator that I downloaded that is really cool. So I'm going to load that one up next. And again, there's a bunch of other stuff on the App Store too. 
All right, this next one is called the Refuglio uh, Flight Simulator, and it is very convincing. It's really, I mean, this is, I, I've been dreaming of a flight sim that I could play like this because one of the issues, and you use your uh, game controller for this, by the way. Uh, one of the issues that I've had with flight sims is that you've, I've never been able to see exactly where the plane is going. So to be able to turn my head and actually look out the window and see what's happening is just amazing. Look at this, you can get the, the flight yokes respond to your... Uh, your control, but the problem is I'm getting that drifting issue, whereas you can see I'm not moving, but the, the field of view is constantly changing here. So there are some calibration issues. Hopefully uh, there's a way to work that out because, you know, I don't think you'd want your pilot flying your plane backwards, but um, it is still very neat just to kind of experience what might be possible. And I'm getting very excited now uh, for that Oculus Rift we've been talking about because uh, I, I can just imagine playing this or like maybe a space flight simulator. You know, uh, I think the, uh, the game Star Citizen, which was made by the guy that uh, created Wing Commander, is going to support the Oculus Rift also. Like just that, I think flight sims especially are really well suited for VR because you are normally seated when you're piloting something. And I think that'll be pretty cool. So, so yes, it's a $30 piece of cardboard. I paid a lot of money for this. I'm hoping uh, it'll, it'll hold up longer than tonight. Uh, I feel like it probably will. I just don't want to beat on it too hard. But uh, it's convincing. And I think if you uh, come across one of these things, I think you'll probably find one cheaper. Uh, definitely pick it up. I've also seen now there's other companies that have created more, um, you know, actually molded plastic versions of this as well. So you might get a little bit more stability or at least uh, long-term use out of it too. So I'm excited about uh, Google Cardboard and we'll see uh, what happens next. But I thought all of you would like to see it too. So that is the Dodo Case VR, but it's essentially the Google Cardboard concept. And this is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching.